we're going to do a little bit of a drawing demonstration on just sort of basic emotions, drawing basic emotions. So, gonna flip to a fresh piece of sketchbook paper. Hope you've got your sketchbook paper sketchbooks handy as well. So I want to start by drawing just sort of a neutral face. And we're going to just draw really simply for right now. Okay, so we've got a neutral face. We also have happy, sad, surprised, and angry. These are kind of the basic emotions and everything else is kind of combinations of these things. So we're going to draw a really basic happy face. Now, what do you guys think about when you think about just the basic happy face? What is round and yellow and used to be a button, a sticker, a pen, and now seems to be Walmart's mascot? Yeah, just kind of a basic sort of neutral smiley face. At this stage, not much really changes. The eyebrows can remain in place. The only thing that really changes is the smile. But even though we've basically drawn these the same way, the smile really seems to change the whole expression. Okay, let's go with sad. We're going to do a basic sad face. There's always ways you can kind of push the expression so it feels like more extreme. And that can often be more compelling, more immersive for the viewer, but we're doing basic ones right now. So what do you guys think about when you think about a basic sad face, right? Think about how the mouth moves. That's right, We've got a frown. Now we could leave the eyebrows neutral and that's a pretty, that's just a pretty mild, like mildly sad. There are ways we can push this expression though to get more emotion out of it. Okay, so next we're doing surprised. And you know, realistically people express surprise in a few different ways, but we're kind of going for caricature. We're kind of going for a basic expression. So we have just the same basic eyes and we're just gonna open the mouth. But we're going to, see it feels a little weird just leaving the eyebrows the same, right? Because the face stretches when you're surprised. So we're just gonna raise and arch the eyebrows just a little bit. And then finally, we have angry. Okay, so we have sketched the basic of the face. What does an angry person's face look like? Well, they might frown like they're sad and their eyebrows go in like that. So we have five really basic emotions. We have a neutral face, we have happy, we have sad, we have surprised, and we have angry. Okay, so let's try developing these just a little bit more. Let's see if we can push them a bit. And it's really easy to push expressions with just changing the eyebrows and changing the mouth. So we're gonna start with happy. Still drawing the same very basic face. Hope you guys can see, yeah, you guys can see happy. Okay, so for happy, we're leaving the eyes the same, but we're gonna raise the eyebrows and instead of having the closed smile, we're gonna have an open mouth smile. Doesn't that happy look a lot happier and a lot friendlier? This is somebody who's excited to see you. Okay, what if we combine keeping the eyes the same, keeping the nose the same. Okay, what if we have just a plain smile, but then we give them sort of sad eyebrows. Now they look apologetic, maybe even a little confused. All right, do another one for happy. Keeping the eyes the same. Keeping the nose the same. Let's give them an open mouth and then let's give them angry eyebrows. 
Uh oh, what's that look like? It looks like they're making fun of somebody, right? They're teasing somebody. So by changing the mouth a little bit, but still within that expression, and then changing the eyebrows a lot, you can get a lot of variety. Okay, so let's go on to sad. And I'll just kind of mark those off. That was happy. Now we've got sad and you guys can see sad. Don't be sad, just see sad. Okay, so we've got the ears and we're drawing the eyes the same. Okay, so we're gonna keep the little downturn mouth and we're gonna give them sad eyebrows. Now he looks, now they look really sad. Eyes are the same. Let's give him an open mouth. Oh no, oh no. And then we'll give him surprise eyebrows. Oh no, they're shocked. All right, let's do another sad. Let's give them an open mouth. Open sad mouth with the angry eyebrows. Oh no, now they're yelling. So, so much can change just by switching the mouth a little bit and switching the eyebrows. And this is a really, really basic way of drawing. It's just dots for eyes, a little potato for the nose, and basically a single line for the mouth. Let's do surprise now. Done happy, we've done sad. So with surprise, we're gonna try and keep the mouth, like the basic surprise going for the mouth. All right, so we've got eyes. So then nose a little lower. Okay, let's give them a big surprise mouth. Oh no! And then the eyes, eyebrows really high up. Wow, what do you think they saw? They're like yelling about something. Could be good, it could be bad. It's kind of an uninflected surprise. All right, let's give them the small surprise mouth. The little, oh, oh. And then we're gonna give them sad eyebrows. Oh no, oh no, something bad happened, but it's not a big bad, it's just a little bad. All right, let's do one more. We're gonna do the, We're going to do the surprise mouth and we're going to do the angry eyebrows. Little potato nose. Oh, I didn't even do the ears. I didn't do the ears. Not that the ears are super important, but you know. Okay, so we said little surprise mouth and angry. Oh, they're fussing about something. Maybe they're not as angry as them, but they're definitely not a happy camper. Okay. So we've done surprised. We're going to do angry. And with angry is so fun to me because you can draw the mouth a lot of different ways. So we're gonna do an open angry mouth. No, they're mad, I'm fussing, rawr. How dare you get off my lawn? Okay, we're gonna do Angry eyebrow, you know what? Let's see, we did angry eyebrows with smiling. What's some other angry combinations we can do? Oh, you know what? We can do just a straight line like this. So it looks like the neutral face almost. If we drew the eyebrows differently, it would look like the neutral face. Let's draw angry eyebrows. Uh-oh, this is someone who's angry, but they're keeping their thoughts to them. They're, they are keeping their thoughts to themselves. All right, let's do another one. Okay, so little potato up, nose, little jug ears. Let's see now, what kind of mouth haven't we done yet? Our traditional angry has a little mouth like that. Hmm. Let's just try it with a regular smile. Oh, look, they look like they're plotting something. So, Let's take a look at it on a blank sheet of paper. From those five basic expressions, we were able to pull, and I haven't even done any with the neutral, we were able to pull at least three additional. So math is hard. Um, we could have like a total of 15 very simple basic expressions and all we changed 
Really all we changed were the eyebrows and the mouths. We haven't even done anything with the eyes. In our next tutorial, I'm going to walk you guys through a slightly more detailed version of this. But before we say goodbye, I do want to play with that neutral expression just to show you how useful even a neutral sort of face can be. So what makes this face neutral? Well, the mouth and the eyebrows are just kind of in, uninflected. So for all of our examples, and this isn't even as far as the combinations go, we're just selecting a few things to change at a time. We are either going to keep the mouth the same and change the eyebrows like we did. Well, we already kind of did that one already. So got to do another. Let's keep the eyebrows neutral and give them a yelling face. Okay, so neutral eyebrows, and then we have a yelling face. Oh, hey, look, it doesn't look angry. It looks like they've seen something they don't like though. All right, let's go again. Okay, so eyes, little nose. Okay, you know what? Let's... See, we kind of did variations on the neutral eyebrows for the most part here. So let's try neutral eyebrows and a surprise face. Looks like they're singing. Not very surprised at all. So maybe what we should be playing with is the neutral mouth. Okay. So we've got neutral mouth, just plain normal mouth. Not really thinking anything. Let's give them surprise. Ooh, maybe they're stunned speechless. And let, we already did angry. Hmm, sad, we need to do sad. Okay, so neutral eyes, nose, neutral mouth, and then sad, aw. Maybe they feel compassionate. Maybe a friend is in a bad situation right now. So with just these five very, very basic emotions, we were able to really expand that out to several more. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. As always, it was a pleasure to hang out with you. And I hope I see you guys again really soon with another drawing video. I hope I've inspired you. I hope I've given you some fuel. And I would love to see you guys draw your characters with all of these very basic emotions. There are loads of emotion prompts and emotion uh, inspiration out on the internet. So I also recommend you look up expression sheets, expression sheets and practice drawing your characters, making those expressions. I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye guys.